Good morning, everyone. I have a big old mess here in front of me today, uh, or I guess a bigger mess than normal. I usually have some sort of a mess going on, don't I? But today's Creative Boost is designed to hopefully inspire and motivate you to make some of your own messes and to really explore and experiment with different creative materials that you have available to you because that is a really fulfilling exercise. It leads to some pretty cool, unexpected discoveries. It really opens up your imagination, ideas, start to flow and that is just it feels good to get all of those benefits so today we are exploring and experimenting with wax and we're working with just leftover wax uh, from your candles um, that's what I've been playing around with and I've gotten some really cool um, results and what I do is I'll um, you know when your candles burn down there's usually leftover or you have some that don't burn very well pop them in the freezer that wax um, will come out and then I you need a heat source of course to uh, liquefy it so that you can work with it creatively and I love to use just one of these old electric skillets this is a really nice safe way to melt the wax down I can um, adjust the heat and uh, I just keep adding my wax to it so it's a nice place to store it as well when I'm done I'll shut it off it'll cool it'll harden and everything's just contained in this one pan you could um, you know use just smaller crock pots work nicely as well uh, if you want to isolate out the different waxes because I have a mixed bag in here I just keep adding all of it into um, one big batch so I've got some soy wax some beeswax some paraffin all of it is mixed in here and if you wanted to separate it out, separate it out and be a little more particular you can definitely do that but this is just a really great place to start uh, and to explore and I think you will be excited about some of the results that happen I'm gonna start you off with a really practical way to use your uh, well melted down leftover wax so um, this is the time of year when we're collecting our pine cones uh, starting to get all geared up to have those fires burning in our fireplaces again and my dad loves to use the pine cones as the fire starters and I've been using them as well and we like to dip them in the wax it uh, just gives them a little bit more oomph so if you do have a wood burning fireplace this is a really inexpensive way to get some cool um, very successful fire starters to use uh, and then for your creative uses with the, the melted down candle wax uh, one way is um, as a wax resist you know how when you write, uh, write with your wax crayons and make your marks um, and then apply your acrylic mediums over the top it resists that color and uh, this actually is a cool way to get even more texture uh, and things I think you'll get really excited about using this as a resist because you can take your um, paintbrush into your uh, liquid wax and then whatever canvases um, you're working on, if you're working on a regular traditional canvas, I just have some watercolor paper here, um, some wooden panels. And what I like about this is you can really create um, some more texture with that wax than when you're just drawing with your traditional wax sticks. I'm just gonna make some marks on here and then I'm gonna go ahead and spray over the top with my, got a little bit of like a watercolor stain. And you could also get the same effect with your um, kind of some thinned out acrylic paints. But look at that. Oh my gosh, you can have so much fun with how you layer this up, the different effects that you get. Um, I don't know whether it shows, but you have all of the cool texture and buildup of some of that wax. Um, and you can, you know, kind of scuff that up even further. Uh, again, layer things up. So much fun using it as a resist in this way. Play around with the different tools that you use to apply it. Um, you can also, um, I love to use um, just old scraps of wood as um, sample boards to play around whenever you are just experimenting with something. Um, just some cut up uh, pieces of plywood. If you have an OSB board, makes a great uh, canvas panel. You've got this built in texture. Uh, so whatever you have to play around with, or even just some poster board, some watercolor paper, uh, and then um, you can build it up. Uh, on your canvas and play around with the different things that you mix with it. It goes really nice with um, your oil paints to add that color. Uh, of course, the acrylic paints are not gonna mix with 
the wax. You can uh, apply um, your acrylics and then go over the top of it with your wax once it dries. That's a nice way to um, layer up, but um, I like the oil paints and how they affect the wax. So if you have some of those, play around with how those layer. Um, the thickness, you know, start thin, uh, and then you can scrape some of it away. There's just so much great uh, interest that you can add to some of your, um, your collage work, any of your canvases and uh, panels that you're playing around with. I have, uh, this is just a traditional canvas. The wax is working really nice on this surface. It's not cracking, it's not um, peeling away. I'm just doing some nice thin layers on this peach that we're playing around with painting, but just you know, experiment with how things layer up. Um, you can add more heat to it with, if you have an embossing gun, I just use a hair dryer um, or even you know a paint stripper where you can heat that wax up again on your panels and get it to move around a little bit further. You can also take your melted wax and if you add a little bit of turpentine to it, that's gonna increase the um, amount of time you have to work with the wax. Um, you can create a little bit more of a paste uh, and you have a little bit more time to move it around. But uh, play around with the leftover wax, see what transpires, then you can move up to you know some finer grade waxes, just the beeswax uh, by itself. Uh, and you know I've played around with car waxes, all kinds of fun stuff. And like I said, I think you'll be surprised at some of the unexpected discoveries that happen. So uh, that's your assignment for today, to uh, save back those candles, play around with melting them down and using them in some creative ways. And don't forget to share back with us some of the things that you've created on your end.